Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing some glass etching. So it's one of my favorite things to do when you have a Cricut, it's super easy to cut um, a stencil out and then to put it on glass and to etch it. Um, all you're gonna need is some Armor Etch etching cream and then um, a Cricut. I like to use um, permanent vinyl just because I think it sticks a little bit better and then just some transfer tape to put that on and some fun designs that you found in Cricut Design Space. And actually all of these things I actually got at the Dollar Tree, um, my local Dollar Tree. They have a big glass um, section and I found the different colors of the wine glasses and the mug and these cute little things. So I actually like the wine glass the best. So with this color, you can see that that etching actually came out. So with the colored wine glass, you can see that that etching actually came out really well on that, if you can see it, probably hard with the lights. But they also have these cute mugs that we did, a mama bear and a little flamingo on this one. And then with the mug, we did a monogram. And this I actually made in an app, um, Monogram It on, I think it's on both Android and iPhone, and then you can just send it to yourself or just upload into Cricut Design Space. And I'm gonna show you how to put them on and put on the etching cream. So this is my screen in Cricut Design Space, and I made them all the same color, so they'll cut out on one mat. And then on the prepare screen, I'm gonna move them so they're about two inches apart. And then I'm gonna load some permanent vinyl on a mat and cut it out with my Cricut. Okay, so I've cut them out on my Cricut and they're kind of hard to see, but I have four of them on here. So I'm just gonna actually cut around them, um, leaving about an inch to each side. So I'm just gonna make a, just a line here so I can see where I wanna cut it. Okay, so this is the flamingo one. So we're gonna be using this as a stencil. So we want the background there. So I'm gonna remove just the inside, the actual flamingo part. And I want the eye to stay there. And I want the letters to stay there. I have that one. Okay, so you can see I've kept about an inch or so around each of those to protect the glass on those sides. Okay, so now you just need a piece of transfer tape, and you don't need it the whole size of this, just pretty much what covers the inside so you get the letters and things. And then I like to kind of prop what I'm putting it on up. Gonna put that like that. And then I'm gonna peel off my transfer tape from its back and just apply it over. Okay. 
Okay, so again, it's really just to lift up those letters there. So now when I peel off the backing, everything's on the, on there. Okay, so now, Place this on and it is a little harder on the curved surfaces so I'm going to make some slits around and it just helps me maneuver it a little bit better I'm just going to peel off the transfer tape. Okay, so you'll see there are some bumps and ridges, and you just want to get those as flat as you can because the, the etch will leak underneath there. So I'm just going to use my fingernail and push them down real well. Okay, so you want to get all the bumps and everything pressed in as well as you can. Okay, and then if you do have any slits or anything too close, you can put some blue painter's tape on to protect it. Okay, so there I have one that I'll be doing. Okay, I'm gonna put the last one on the wine glass. So again, the transfer tape.
since it's a rounded surface, I'm gonna make some slits. Try not to go too close to that, but just so I can pull it a little bit more. And then since this isn't totally straight, it doesn't matter how line, but I'm gonna try to go right in the center first. And kind of use my finger to go down the middle and then pull over to the side so it's tight. And that's where those little slits kind of let me push them down a little bit. Come over here, kind of pull it. Okay, push it down really well. And then remove. transfer tape and after you make the slits it is a little bit harder it doesn't come off in one piece okay so now I'm gonna press with my finger or a scraper and try to get all those little bubbles that are close to it far as down as I can. So this one might leak a little bit. But I'm going to try to get that totally down. And again, and just be careful to not break your glass. So you just want where any of it can leak right underneath it. And again, since I have some slits that are kind of close, especially down here, just gonna put some blue tape close. And on this one here. Make sure it's all pressed as well as it can be. Okay, so now I have this one ready, and I did this one, this one, and this one. So now I'm going to go outside because it needs to be in a nice ventilated area, and we will apply a glass etching. Okay, so I'm outside in a ventilated area. So I have my armor etch here. Um, and then just some paint brushes. And I'm gonna shake this up. And make sure you read all of um, warnings on here. And if you inhale, this is um, some strong stuff. So that's why I recommend doing it outside somewhere or it's well ventilated. So I have my glass here. So I'm just gonna kind of put some on the brush and then just start dabbing it around. I really just want it on the letters. It will spill out some. And I kind of do it so that there it's kind of a blob. Just so made sure that everything is covered up. So again, this is why you want all of those side things 
really pushed down so nothing can leak underneath the vinyl. And then I leave it for about five minutes or so and then I move the product around just so that I'm really sure it's got everywhere. And I did this blue one just to show you um, what it would look like on a different color glass where I did a green one for the Grinch. Um, and these are all Dollar Tree things. So I just wanna make sure it's covering every spot of that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna set it aside Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other ones. And I just blot it down. You're not brushing it. You just want it to be on top. You don't want it overly thick so that it runs. So, and if you can see, if you look inside, you'll see everywhere it's covered. So you can see there's a little bit down on didn't look totally covered. So all that where the white is, is where it's gonna etch. So I just have mine laying on a tray. Sometimes I put them upright. Um, they don't usually run, but it's hot out today. I wanted to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and just kinda push the stuff around just a little bit. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and so I'm gonna come out. And you'll see how I did put that and this one actually ran a little bit which luckily didn't get down too far. So I'm actually just gonna kind of move things around a little bit. You don't have to do this. I feel like it helps a little bit if there's any little parts that I wasn't getting before. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these about another five to 10 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna bring them inside and we're gonna wash them off. Okay, so I let them sit. So before I rinse them off, I'm actually gonna put the extra stuff back into the bottle. So I'm actually just gonna kind of wipe it up. And you don't have to save it.
So let's go wash them off and see what they look like. Okay, so we're gonna rinse them off. I know, it's hard for me to film on my sink, but, um, so I'm gonna leave the actual vinyl on first. And rinse it off. And then I'm going to pull it off. And then rinse it off again. And I'm going to use some soap. And it's going to be hard to see with my black sink. see in there that it's etched on there. see it a little better against the glass is still wet but against the outside here is the blue one you still need to dry but those are just washed off